Thanks to his father's sporting achievements and astute business acumen, Cristiano Jr. has lived a life of luxury thus far, a stark contrast to CR7 Sr.'s humble beginnings. During a family vacation to Lisbon, the Manchester United star wanted to teach his son a valuable life lesson. Join us as we discuss why Cristiano Ronaldo brought his son to an impoverished area of Lisbon. CR7's troubled upbringing. Cristiano Ronaldo has come a long way since those nascent days on the Portuguese island of Madeira. He's transversed numerous obstacles on his path to the upper echelons of world football. The former Real Madrid man has won it all, and thanks to his talent and an insatiable work ethic, he cemented his status as one of the game's greats. But his success wasn't handed to him on a plate. He comes from a family of modest means, growing up in a little house, sharing a bedroom with his three siblings. Life was a struggle back then in Medina. I was playing in whatever old boots my brother passed down to me or my cousins gave me. But when you're a kid, you don't care about money. Leaving for Lisbon. The young star had just one thought on his mind, football. He caught the attention of sporting Lisbon scouts, and before he knew it, he was packing his bags for their academy. His depart was heart-wrenching. He'd later admit it was one of the most difficult periods of his life. During his time in the Portuguese capital, the future Ballon d'Or winner would stay in accommodation a far cry from the luxurious manners he's now accustomed to. The youngster poured his heart and soul into honing his craft and climbed the ranks until he made his first team debut in 2002. And in his first start, aged just 17, he scored a stunning brace, a fitting start for what was soon to follow. Ever since, the Man United man has become intent on instilling a sense of humility and drive in his offspring. A life lesson. Cristiano Jr. might be only 12 years old, but there's already a lot of expectations surrounding his early promise. But emulating the success of an all-time great is no easy feat. Jordi Cruyff and Enzo Zidane will attest to that. The highest goal scorer in Real Madrid history is doing everything in his power to protect young Cristianinho. The precocious talent is currently learning his trade with the Manchester United youth team. And while CR7 Senior refrains from putting any extra pressure on him, he does give him advice. Beyond just being a good footballer, United's number 10 wants him to become a good person. Cristiano Jr.'s early life has been punctuated by luxury yachts and grandiose villas. In order to keep his feet on the ground, the pair made a pilgrimage to where CR7 lived during his early days in Lisbon. I wanted him to see where I grew up. He said, Dad, did you really live here? Junior couldn't believe his eyes. I try to teach my son that things don't come to you just through talent, but through relentless work. With hard work and determination, you can achieve whatever you want. That's what I try to instill in my son. The forward, who grew up with an alcoholic father, has made it his mission to be the best dad possible. Cristiano Jr. now knows that talent and hard work combined will lead to undoubted success in the future. Maybe he'll follow in his father's footsteps and lift that Champions League trophy. And if he does, we'll always think back to that impoverished area of Lisbon. You can think whatever you like of CR7's behavior on the pitch, but his meticulous attention to detail off of it is irreproachable. The Portuguese star, like any parent, wants to instill virtue in his kids in order for them to become good people. And in CR7 Jr.'s case, a good footballer too. Do you think Cristiano Jr. has what it takes to turn pro? Will he emulate his father's success? Make sure you let us know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about this precocious talent, just click here. See you soon for a new video on Oh My Goal.